The Jordan 1 Low has been one of the go-to summertime sneakers, especially the OG Lows, which Jordan brand has been releasing quite frequently lately. But now they've given us one of the nicest colorways we've seen on the OG Lows. My name is Josh and I will be reviewing the Jordan 1 Low OG UNC. So what up guys and welcome back to the channel to all of my long-term viewers shout out to you guys for supporting the channel and if you are new here my name is josh i do sneaker reviews and all types of other sneaker content if that is something you're looking for make sure you hit that subscribe button i am dropping at least three videos a week also check out my bi-weekly sneaker podcast the kickback sneaker pod available on all streaming platforms and last but not the least check me out on instagram at jdkick6 is the handle very active on there too so let's get into it the jordan one low og unc now these were Released a bit earlier here in Europe. July the 29th was the release date and unfortunately for those of you in North America you're gonna have to wait quite a while because the release date in North America is September the 28th. Not gonna lie that's a pretty long time of course the current global supply chain issues is part of the reason why. In Europe these released under a different name it was the Jordan 1 Low Dark Powder Blue and getting into the shoe so this is a Jordan 1 Low OG. When pictures of the shoe released a lot of people were saying that these looked like like the laser blue lows but this one of course is an OG low so there are quite a few differences easily my favorite difference being the lower cut tongue also the wings logo at the back of the shoe is on the top leather panel rather than the bottom and also just the overall shape of the shoe around the ankle area it is a bit of a lower cut but that being said even though this shoe is officially being called an OG low they're actually quite different than the original Jordan 1 lows for example the most noticeable is the swoosh you don't get that thicker swoosh that you get on the OG lows which is unfortunate because I actually really like that swoosh the toe box is also quite different and one last difference is that this time you get only seven lace holes rather than eight which you got on the original the most OG-esque Jordan 1 low to drop recently has been those fragment lows and you can see just how different the toe box is on both of these shoes and also this one has eight holes while this just has seven I know those OG Jordan fans out there are quite passionate about this topic but let's be honest most people buying this sneaker are buying this shoe because of how nice of a colorway this is this is a very historic colorway for a jordan brand the unc blue of course that is where michael jordan played his college basketball at the university of north carolina and another thing about this colorway is that it is quite a decent alternative to those fragment lows so instead of paying a ridiculous amount on resale to get this pair you could also just get this Jordan 1 UNC and achieve pretty much the same look. But my favorite thing about this colorway is the color blocking. They're using that classic black toe color blocking with the white toe box. And I know I've said this many times before, but my favorite color blocking on a Jordan 1 has to be the black toe color blocking. I think it looks best on this sneaker. Let me know down in the comments if you guys agree or if you disagree. Perhaps the only thing missing with this shoe is some extra laces. So you only get these black laces with this shoe. But not to worry, I did go ahead and throw throw on two different additional laces so I threw on some white laces as well as some beige colored laces both of them are from my shop elevate laces the link is in the description we do ship worldwide for a very affordable price and both of these options in my opinion look great on this shoe especially that beige colorway if you want to achieve more of that Travis Scott type of vibe make sure you get either the low top beige laces or the low top white laces once again elevatelaces.com the link is in the description moving on to the quality on the sneaker so the quality on the shoe I would say definitely above average for your typical Jordan release it's definitely better in my opinion than these Jordan 1 low bleached corals that are released a while ago because thankfully we didn't get the cracked leather this time instead we get this nice smooth black leather I would say a good comparison when it comes to quality would be those starfish lows that released last year I was pretty shocked with the retail price of the shoe the retail price of this was a hundred and fifty euros expect a US price of a hundred and fifty dollars which is pretty high for a Jordan 1 especially considering these OG bleach corals and also those mystic navies pairs that released recently both of those the retail price was a hundred and thirty so 
$20 more for this colorway. Moving on to sizing. So normally with Jordan 1 lows, I like to go true to size. And with this particular sneaker, going true to size fits perfectly. Some OG lows do fit a bit big. For example, those Travis Scott fragment lows, you could have gotten away with going a half size down in that pair, but not these. However, definitely you want to stick true to size. That's the way to go. So for me, that is the same size I normally wear in a Nike Dunk or a Nike Air Max 1. Stick with your true size and you will not regret it. Looking at resale prices right now. So resale prices, at least here in Europe, are quite low for this shoe. Not going for too much above retail. I do expect a clean colorway like this to rise over time. Now, if you live in the United States, yes, the resale prices will come down once the shoe releases over there at the end of September. So if you wanna get the lowest price possible, you are better off waiting. But however, keep in mind, those are gonna release only at the end of September. So summertime is already gonna be over by then. So if you do wanna rock these sneakers in the summer, you can take advantage of these lower resale prices right now. There's just low resale prices overall when it comes to sneakers these days. So if you don't wanna wait, you can definitely cop right now. I will leave a StockX affiliate link in the description. Overall, the Jordan 1 Low UNCs, are these a cop or a drop? Well, I'm definitely not too happy about the higher retail price, 150 for a pair of lows. Inflation is definitely real, guys. I'm pretty happy overall with the colorway and the quality of the sneaker. And of course, love the OG cut and the OG look of the shoe, the lower tongue especially. I definitely like this colorway. Last year, I would say the best Jordan 1 Low general release pair were those neutral gray lows. Whereas this year, 2022, I think the best general release Jordan 1 Low colorway has got to be these, the Jordan 1 Low UNC. So I'm definitely going to say these are a cop. Let me know down in the comments if you guys are gonna be copying these. And also, I'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you think about these quite high retail prices now on Jordans? Leave a comment and do not forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.